Ah, uh, good evening or good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to an episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Zombies! Zombie! Victoria 2 Heart of Zombies! Zombies! Wah ha 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 ha! Now, nah, everyone, it's Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness. This is a zombie mod it's called Apocalypse. Pretty good mod. I'm loving it so much. I mean, we're having so much crazy stuff happen. Like, all this expansion is just crazily good. So, anyways, guys, uh, right now we have definitely been doing stuff and I'm actually kind of surprised that none of these places have become like general democracies yet I think it's because I don't actively encourage like administrative power actually in this place it has what about over here no Af afro brazilian has definitely still very powerful in all these places even though the population is only 204 I think we could easily displace these populations I'm just gonna say that now but this is at max I see like 30, 24. Yeah, we could definitely displace this. I mean, this always seems like it could become its own colony. Seriously. Hmm. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a special little notice for you guys. You guys are gonna start encouraging bureaucrats because I want you guys to become a state. You guys will be the 48th state at this point in the Union. I'm not sure because I'm about to go to war with Mexico, so they might actually be the uh, 47. They might actually be the 49th. I really don't know. And then, American Lesser Angles? Where's that? Oh, right here. Oh, you guys want to become a state? Oh, never mind. Apparently, they're going to be the 48th at most state. No, 49th. I don't know anymore. I'm just going to stop guessing. I don't know what state they're going to be. They're just going to be a state. That's all we know. And I just gained more money, and everything's great, and I'm just gonna keep going with it. Okay, so economic, I'm gonna increase our increase our banks a little bit. Tax efficiency is kind of terrible. I'd really love to get that up. Let's see, how much do you need? Like, look at this. State administration. How are you guys not already like bureaucrats? 2.22. How are you guys already not incorporating as a state cost? 472 colonial points. Ew. So these guys could always be incorporated. They just need colonial points. Okay, you know what? Abort, withdraw. Withdraw right for now. Just because we're going to see if we can get that colonial point. And there's more zombie hordes. So. I've apparently figured out a disadvantage to having like this many armies um, a, like right next to other unstable nations uh, they randomly have lots of hordes right next to their land so this honestly causes difficulty for us cuz yeah we're gonna constantly have to deal with lots and lots of hordes down here which is not necessarily fun may I tell you people and my economy now I can start like not supporting my ships at all because now I can actually like do stuff and almost there like what what am I messing up on uh, well apparently you guys can be taxed just a little bit more five five and I guess I can tax my rich a little bit more because I mean I am not taxing them at all there we go 29 and then what else can I do to help my money I think that's about as much as I can do right now yeah, there we go. There we go, an alliance from Spain. Of course, Spain. You know, you guys are possibly the only people outside the world that's actually doing well. Until the zombie horde starts to rip you guys to shreds again. I should not speak too quickly because I keep forgetting that these countries do have major events. The Apache Wars. Oh, no. Sad event for the Apache right there. The last major wars they ever had before they became like... Well, yeah, you guys know. If you've studied world history, you got, oh, not world history, American history, you guys know. Alright, but anyways, let's start joining in. Spain, very like, you better, you better all join in. I'm just gonna say that now. Yeah, because the USCA, I protected your butt, so you better join in. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, you guys go down here. You guys go right here. You guys go right there. Let's start invading Mexico. <sighs> Morale decisions, whatever, whatevs, okay. Just conquering this, just keep going down. I mean, I don't really need to stay very long. I just need to quickly go conquer and then go get out. How unfortunate. Okay.
Okay. Long live the USA! Yay! Oh, wow, Crusaders, again. It just seems to pop up a lot, and wow, there's a lot of, like, little bands of, like, units here that if they would actually group up, this would actually be a pretty decent army. So let's start crushing some of these before they actually do group up and be smart. Like, seriously, that's, there's a lot of little tiny armies that are actually pretty powerful. So let's just start killing all these. Okay, let's go right here in Las Cruces. Let's go destroy this. Let's go down here. Let's go conquer all the actual immediate land we actually do need. Uh, okay, let's just go right there. And let's just go right there. Okay, you guys go down. Let's just let's just start destroying all these like little bands of armies that keep coming in. That's, that's a lot of men that just keep coming into like our land. And let's see, are they invading anywhere over here? Yes, they are. They're invading our little vassal, so I will have to go send men to go help them. And now I get to get a little bit more insight into Puerto Rico. It has three men. That's probably the only reason why it stayed alive. And I now have a lot of men for a lot of naval power for some reason. So I'm just going to use it. Uh, let's see. Expand. Expand. Let's see. Expand. Expand. Yeah, I need to, we need to make sure that we have our maximum naval power. I think this region's already all good. Yeah, I think I remember expanding this myself. And I think the bridge expanded this. And over here, probably not, because this is all new land. Oh, wait, I don't have any more money. Gosh, dang it. Okay, well, let's get back. Oh, wait, what? Population density? Let's see the population density of the world. Mexico and America have the most population, and then the rest of the world is, except for the Santo, and a couple places in Africa, the rest of the world and China, <laughs> the tiny little island of Taiwan, is just, the rest of the world is just all green. This is great. <laughs> oh, and probably after this, guys, I'm probably going to have to take a break from warring, because I'm start my units are starting to get really, really damaged from all this, like, insane warring. So we're probably going to take like a massive break after this just because of just how much we, I think our people are pretty fatigued now of all the wars we've been in. So yeah. Okay. You guys, half of you guys are going there. You guys go crush these guys. Go crush this army right over here. Okay. You guys go right there. No, you guys stop hunting rebels. I don't even care about the rebels anymore. You guys go right there to kind of group up with that unit. Okay, I don't even know what this unit is comprised of, but group it up. Eh, that's kind of balanced. Okay, you guys go right there. And there we go. We've now got a good, evenly balanced army moving down. And I... Is Mexico trying to fight us down here? I don't think so. I think they've basically given up down here. And we need to get... We need to figure out a way to get all this colonial points. Because I have enough right now, but we need to... <sighs> hmm... Power tied up due to maintenance. I don't want to give up any of my colonial power though. Let's see. Well, I don't want to, but maybe I'd have to just to free up some decisions. So let's just see. How much would it cost to like release us? Uh, maintenance. Uh, 25 maintenance. Power tied up. Quebec. I could free Quebec. Free New England. It seems like I only got one option to free one country that I could possibly make. Which is only going to give me like 25, which is definitely not worth it. I mean, eventually all these places will become mine, so... Yeah, that just does not seem worth it. I mean, all I have to do is just really expand my military a little bit downwards, and it'll be fine. Alright. Mexico. Are you guys about ready to give up? Thank you. Thank you! You made this so easy. We didn't even have to destroy your entire army, and now I can just like start spinning out my army to go everywhere. Okay, there we go. That was the last thing we need to do, Mexico. And now you guys are officially free. America will no longer, I repeat, unless we really want to expand to you, which may happen, may or may not happen, America will probably not be picking on you anymore. And I'm going to be lowering taxes again because of because the rich are not paying for my factories. Which now I have now I'm wondering how many rich are in my country? 22,000, that's not too much. Okay, there we go. Rich pay for my factories. Goodness sake. How unfortunate. Okay, and let's start repaying some of our loans too. We pay some of our loans to our own debt. So we're the only country that actually has anything, which technically doesn't that mean we're just paying ourselves back? I mean we're just like giving ourselves payment. I don't know, maybe. 
Does anyone else agree? Like, that just seems like we're just paying ourselves again. Uh, okay. Anyways, right now, uh, hmm. I gotta think of this very carefully, because right now we have a lot of rebels, and we're gonna have to go kill those rebels, because it's not really my fault. All these other little tiny nations are, like, spawning them for me, which is very bad. Very, 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 very bad. But we need to kind of figure out how we can increase our colonial range, which means we're going... Uh, the, best, the best way I know to increase colonial range is you're going to have to start building up your factories even more. Which is what we're going... I, I, guess, is the, I guess is the main way we're going to have to do that. Because I'm not going to give up any of my land I've already conquered. Heck no. This is America, man. We don't give up anything. Uh, okay, and then Spain over here is being... No, they're actually ma maintaining the zombie horde. Good job, guys. And I think they could actually, like, keep their land together because since their land is so underpopulated right now, I think it makes sense that they don't have, like, don't have, like, big gigantic hordes, so the hordes have nothing to pull from, and they have a gigantic army for some strange reason. So, that makes sense, and I apparently balanced out my entire economy... Let's start working on iron weavers, and I think we should start working on all tier 2 technology so we can start getting higher. It's a very good idea, and Prussia, are you going to do anything original? Like, seriously, start expanding into the rest of Europe. You were not restricted to this previous boundary that you had. Seriously, dude. Seriously. I'm not even joking, it's going to annoy the heck out of me if you guys do not expand. And you guys, you pay off the rest of the debt. We are no longer in debt. We are officially making money. And I'm going to start uh, supporting my men again so they can start helping the men out. And there we go. Uh, gosh. And tensions and tunnels. Do I really care about tunnels? Not in the slightest bit. I mean, is tunnels still a nation? Yes! Tunis is still a nation. It has one province, guys. One province. One quarantine zone that apparently survived the initial outbreak. That is amazing. Right there, that is amazing. And Siam, and all these other places. Oh, gosh. Now, the only... Yeah. Now, the only problem is that what I'm seeing is that the fact that we just have this... Like, these guys are ready to become a state, but yeah, I can't make a mistake. And... I'm going to start making Mexico a state because Mexico, uh, New Mexico is kind of like an important state to me, so I'm going to try to get them to green as quickly as possible because these guys are my friends, my peeps, so I'm going to hope that they will accept the American dream and become American. Probably not though. From what I know about New Mexico, probably not. And the capitalists are doing a great job of expanding my factories without me doing anything. That is good, and socialism has finally been invented in a very weird time, I guess. I don't know how socialism would work in a in a in a uh, kind of place like we do. Like in the world we have right now, I don't know how socialism would work. Because it definitely would not work in a little tiny community of like seven of like 150 people. Um, socialism definitely does require that you have to have unequal and radical punishment, which means you do have to have um, higher people up and higher people working to make it all work. But I don't know. Maybe this is a maybe socialism is just a term they give it on, but maybe it's something entirely different. I mean, we don't we don't even know necessarily in this world if the uh, if the names of anything are the same. Like Hawaii could mean something different in this world than it did in our world, and um, you know. <laughs> You know, the words of Marx could be completely different than the words of than the words we know of today. I mean, Karl Marx could be preaching like theocracy kind of stuff. Or he could be preaching like the bourgeois with the correct class. I mean, we don't really know. We honestly don't know in this timeline because there's been so many things altered by the zombie apocalypse. I mean, America has expanded to South America and is being halted by the fact that it has so much colonial maintenance. Curse colonial maintenance. Okay, now that I have a, a good amount of money, let's start expanding our ports a little bit. Expand, expand. Okay, and let's see, is there any more? Texas, you guys don't have a port yet? So let's create one in San Antonio, Austin. Let's create one in Austin, right there. And let's see, yeah, you guys are all building yours. I think once these all build up, 
we'll have a good amount of like naval naval colonial range, which means then we'll be able to annex these we'll be able to add these guys as the next state. And then from there, we'll be then able to free up more colonial power, which means we'll be able to do even more, which is what we want to do. And comments, let's see, what do I want to get? Uh, we could probably get some more colonial migration, because we actually do need to keep our colonies moving and keep everyone moving towards the boundaries, because it'd be really nice. Diplomat insulted! The United States getting humiliated because of the against France. Uh, you know, let's, let's make peace with France. They aren't really a threat to us. I mean, they're just getting the borders back, so I'm, I, I pretty much know they're not a threat to us. And Belgium has basically carved out its own little empire right here. Good job, Belgium. Now, why are you guys not rapidly expanding for the rest of this French land? Like, seriously, go conquer this. You guys have an opportunity. Go take over this French land. Oh, gosh, like... Uh, I, I'm kind of feeling frustrated right now because all these European nations are not taking advantage of all this less land. I mean, look at this. Spain has an opportunity to take over all this land for Portugal and basically unite the islands. It's not doing that. Why? What is your reasoning? I don't see it. It doesn't make any sense. You guys should be conquering. Why? Why are you not expando jindoistic? And oh my goodness, these rebels are starting to make me seriously mad. I'm gonna have to go send over two armies to go deal with them. That's just, like, seriously annoying. You guys go kill the Haitian rebels. It's good thing I keep an army on this island. And a mysterious- oh! No. That is not good. That is not good. New store, New Orleans! That is good. But the problem is, is now we have a gigantic horde. Okay. Trail of Tears. I'm not going to enact the Trail of Tears. I refused once, and I'm still going to refuse to this day to not enact the Trail of Tears. Alright. Where is the zombie apocalypse going to mainly happen in? All these places. Okay, keep an army right next to here at all times. Okay, because I am not... We are not having this happen. We are not going to be dealing with this. Over here in our colonies, lots of places actually would become very zombieistic. Um, I guess when you bring in new colonies, you should make sure that you convert them all to your... Uh, make sure that there are no more zombies in them. I guess that was one of my main mistakes. Because I forgot to kill all the zombies inside of these pro core provinces, so... This could potentially bite me in the butt. I'm not gonna deny. Okay, let's go right here. We already have expansion. Expanded. 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 No, not expanded. There we go. There we go. And I think that was a uh, Puerto Rican town. No, that was still my town. Good. All right. And I can enact the trail tiers. I'm not going to enact the trail tiers. Now get that. Uh, in... <sighs> Why not? American assimilation. Right. I don't like that. But apparently we're going to be doing it. And apparently you guys are just dying from all this moving around. Yeah, I'm. I'm I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to keep two armies. The zombies are back. Shysta. Okay, you guys move right there. Okay, you know what? Uh, where are my fleets? What the heck happened to my fleets? Okay, well, I thought I had a bigger fleet. Never mind. Go right here. Quickly, guys, move. Move. Go, 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 go. You guys have to quickly go kill that horde before it starts spawning millions of other hordes around me. So I want to make sure that if, once they start spawning millions of hordes, we're dead. Like, America's population is now the biggest in the world that we could cause a second outbreak. I mean, we have how much population right now? 6.53 million. That is way more than the other powers put together. In fact, the only other power that comes close to us is Spain with 1.3 million. So, it'd be very crucial if we do not lose any of our lands. I'm just saying that right now for you guys' benefits. Uh, do not lose any of our lands. Also, if you guys could keep building railroads all the way down here, that'd be also very much appreciated. And my colonial range is starting to increase by a lot. Long live the USA! Yay! Okay, we're going to kill off that horde. Good. And now, are there any other hordes? Let me make sure there are no other hordes down here. That's good. Okay, you guys go right here. Go take back. Go take back a natural, like, southern American land. And, oh gosh, let's hope that doesn't happen again. Let's hope no more hordes live. Quebecois City, Trombadon, yes. 
So all those places are instantly becoming Americanized, which is very good. That is very good progress to see. And I think it's time to end the episode, guys, today. So I want to thank you guys for watching. It was good seeing all this progress. I mean, we're slowly integrating a lot of the world to our economy. We're almost there to integrate these guys. So close. I mean, we only have about 100 off. We're only 100 off. And then we can start integrating them into our fold. That will be nice. And we have all this other stuff that we can do. And just... Oh, gosh. And... <laughs> Uh, Quebecois. That's a Quebecois. And the rest of the world seems to be seems to be uniting. Um, Russia seems to be just fragmented everywhere. It has colonies almost everywhere and safe zones everywhere. Um, Spain seems to have just recovered its entire land and is starting to actually kick back a little bit of in industry and military. Good for you, Spain. Good for you. So with that, everyone, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.